Hello friends and welcome back to my channel Someone Save My Life Tonight. I'm reviewing all of Elton John's recordings and grading them out of 10 in an attempt to make a top 200 or 300 list of my favourite Elton songs. As well as my album reviews, I'm doing this series called Elton's Hidden Gems. These are uncollected Elton tracks that don't appear on his own studio albums or perhaps even as bonus tracks. And today I'm looking at a recording he made in 2011 called Snowed In at Wheeler Street. Now, this comes from Kate Bush's album, 50 Words for Snow, which is a concept album of songs set against the background of falling snow. It's a, it's a very interesting album to listen to. Um, it's not the kind of album that you're going to get up and dance to, but there's some long, complex, moody tracks. Um, it's the kind of album you kind of best listen to uh, late at night with the lights low, and especially if there's snow falling outside. This particular song, Snowden at Wheeler Street, is about two lovers, uh, two souls who meet in different periods of time, but keep missing each other and being pulled apart. And it ranges from ancient Rome up to 1942 during the Second World War. Um, but constantly they're, they're not resolving their relationship. Listen to that refrain. Don't walk into the crowd again. Don't walk away again. I don't want to lose you. So this is a conversation between a male voice and a female voice, um, but constantly being torn apart. And there's a, a lot of emotion in this song. Now, Kate Bush and Elton John are fans of each other's music. And Elton was quoted as saying, this is a weird song, but I love it so much. Um, and he admitted that this has been a tough recording session doing this song. The reason for that is it's a complex song with lots of complicated rhythms uh, and lyrics, uh, lots of light and shade in it. Um, and it goes on for over eight minutes. Um, but finally, it is a rewarding song. When you uh, listen to it, you'll be able to hear uh, this massive buildup of emotion in it. Now, uh, Kate Bush had, of course, recorded some of Elton's songs. She's recorded Rocket Man uh, and Candle in the Wind um, on those sort of cover tribute albums. Um, so they clearly got on well. And in fact, Kate um, Bush was present at Elton's wedding reception as well. And of course, quite a stir, apparently, because um, she doesn't turn up to many social events. And people were going, wow, that's Kate Bush over there. So that's really impressive. Let's get into the song. Now, we know that Kate Bush is a tremendously creative and innovative artist, so we're not going to get anything normal on this. We're not going to get your standard uh, two guitars, uh, drums and a lead singer sort of band on this. But we're going to get some unusual sounds. And this is how the track starts. Very mysterious. Now, I don't even know what sort of instrument that is. You might be able to tell me. Uh, but it sets the scene for an atmospheric beginning. Now we hear her vocal coming in. Excuse me, I'm sorry to bother you, but don't I know you? So she's seen this person and she thinks she recognises him from somewhere in the past, possibly um, a previous life. Um, we don't know. All these layers are coming together uh, within the song. Now, Elton's voice is really interesting on this because he uses this quite low register, um, quite sort of a mysterious voice in a way, but it's incredibly powerful when it comes in. So listen now to Elton's voice. Now, his voice is sounding fantastic there, isn't it? Um, and this is, whole thing is beautifully produced as well. Um, and it's building up and it's building up. Don't expect a quick chorus. Um, we know Elton sometimes delays a song until he gets to his chorus to sort of heighten the expectation. And Kate Bush is doing the same here. It's three minutes before we get any type of uh, refrain in this. But when we do, it's really rewarding. So listen now to the interplay between this couple on the refrain. So 
So that that's nearly four minutes into the song, and it's really building up um, the uh, atmosphere and the tension between this couple that they might be drawn apart again. Um, the voices work so well together, don't they? Instantly recognisable, of course. Kate Bush, uh, brilliant, recognisable voice. Elton, the same. So they're working um, in uh, harmony here um, to produce this really impactful song. And Elton really starts to go for it later on. Um, and this is fantastic, isn't it? And um, you know, just to hear his voice in such a great shape there and um, producing all that emotion. A couple of other bits just towards the end. This is the voices working together. Yeah, this is sounding really good, isn't it? And one more bit just before the end. Now, right at the end here, they're almost screaming and pleading with each other. Listen to this. That's just a thrilling conclusion to a wonderful track. Now, I only discovered this um, last year, I think, by accident. Um, I don't know why I haven't come across it before. Um, I haven't got the Kate Bush album, but um, obviously she is a wonderful artist and I really want to listen to more tracks of hers. Uh, but these two just work so well together. I really would urge you to have a look at this track um, and see what you think of it. So it's a difficult one, actually, uh, grading Elton's tracks which aren't written by him, um, because obviously I've got to give higher scores to the ones that are originals. But in terms of a collaboration on somebody else's album, uh, I think this is definitely going to get in the very good category. Uh, it's halfway between very good and excellent. And the more I listen to this, the more I think it could be creeping into that excellent category. Um, give it a chance, this one. Um, it's not a quick track. It will grow on you, um, but it's worth putting in the time. OK, that's my hidden gem for today. Uh, as always, if you've got suggestions of other ones you want me to listen to and to review, please drop your comments in below and subscribe if you want to. I'll be back with another album review very soon. Farewell, and don't forget, we're all still standing.